What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Elude Star Wars Plays. Today we're going to be playing Final Fantasy Endwalker. That's right, Final Fantasy Endwalker. It's out now. I was going to watch the trailer, but we'll watch it later. We're going to hop into it. Maybe I should have watched the trailer. Lobby connection. The lobby server connection has encountered an error. It's 3 a.m., guys. We're trying to log in here, and the server had just come up like a minute ago. We're, we're looking at a 3.01 a.m. right now. I wanted to wake up just as soon as this thing went active. I lagged out, though. I think the game crashed, actually. Did the game crash on me? It crashed. Here. What the heck? We gotta log back in now. There we go. We're logging in. All right, give me a second. Oh, it's playing. Watch the, the trailer. Should we watch the trailer? Let's watch the trailer. Creative Business Unit 3. Here it is. I think this is the first time I've actually seen the trailer.
This door still has secrets to tell. Oh, yeah. Character models look updated. So, Charlie and would keep its counsel while the world is lost to ruin. It would. Come what may, we shall live on. We must. Do as you must, then. The look at that staff. That thing is so. Until the heavens fall. Until our last breath. the planet and then the planet explode what the fuck all right guys let's see what's happening maybe it'll let us log in since we gave it a minute connecting to data center final fantasy 14 endwalker endwalker i'm gonna get some tea while this is doing that That has nothing to do with getting logged in. It says how to fix the error. That's the link you click on, how to fix it. I made it in. Unable to obtain card data though. Ah. Ah, I'm in two now. Two thousand nine hundred and seventy-two. The most I've seen trying to log in before was like maybe a hundred or thirty people in queue ahead of uh, ahead of me. Probably not a hundred. I don't think I've ever. I've probably seen like thirty-three people ahead of me in queue. Let's see how long 3,000 people take. The only solution is to wait a while before trying again. If your connection is busy, if you're trying to connect in busy hours, in any case, it might be best to log in directly in the less crowded servers. A new feature will be added to change the worlds. Ooh, I moved 100. It refreshed to 2897. Maybe I should write a Final Fantasy error article. It's like already on the launcher logged in. I should be at the front of that. Ooh, Stalwart Magazine, FFX error 2002. Here's the fix, guys, to this error 2002. So basically, all you gotta do is keep logging in and wait a while and then log back in after that. So. When the servers are overloaded with players, as a measure to prevent them to go offline by keeping more players out. says, here, let's say, Final Fantasy. Ouch. Here's an article. PC Games. The Final Fantasy Reaper class, everything you need to know. Here's everything you need to know about the melee DPS job coming to Final Fantasy Endwalker in November. 
The second job coming to Final Fantasy Endwalker has been confirmed as the Reaper. This sinister, sinister scythe-wielding character can summon a demon avatar from the void to aid in battle and arrives November alongside the Sage job. As well as these two jobs, the Final Fantasy Endwalker release date adds a bunch of new features to the game including raids, gear, system, and new dungeons as well as the male Vera as a playable race and a new tribe called the Leporitz. There's also new areas to explore, Lunar Escape, Mare Lamatorium, and a new training ground the Warriors like called the Labyrinthos. I like that, new training ground. If, if you're keen on knowing more about the Reaper though, expect a job that's a lot darker than the Sage. And unlike current Final Fantasy classes, the recent Final Fantasy FanFest gave us a first look at the Reaper in action as well as a letter from the producer that detailed the job changes. So let's take a look at their abilities and what the Reaper can do with the Avatar and how to get the most out of this new class. The Reaper is a melee job adorned in a menacing black coat and able to summon a special Avatar from the Void. The two-handed scythe serves as the Reaper's main weapon to take down enemies at a close range. First seen as the primary weapon for the Dark Knight job in Final Fantasy. The Reaper can also summon an avatar uh, from the Void to help in these close range encounters and even become a host for the avatar itself. We're not sure how this will work yet, but it's been described as brutal, flamboyant fightles, fighting style. This job has a new gauge called the Soul Gauge that once fully charged can be used in combat and it also works with your demon avatar. Looks like this class will be popular among melee DPS job players, so it shouldn't be too difficult to master. Although we don't know the exact quest line, the job quest will be old duh. What kind of dig is that? It says this job looks like it'll be popular among melee DPS, so it shouldn't be too difficult to master. Shut your you don't know nothing about melee. <laughs> Although we don't know the exact quest line, the job quest will be available at old duh, and you'll have to be level 70 or higher. Any tips or rituals? Uh, shh. No, I was just spam the login. I did do the firewall thing. I should play a game while I wait for this game. <laughs> Here's the Reaper class uh, thing. Here, let's check this out. Progress, we're at 2,240 now. Let's watch this video. Very cool, very cool. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness, I don't even know, man. I don't even know, bro. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. <laughs> we may accept this fate or defy. <laughs> Don't get the voodoo. 300. <laughs> the latency edition. <laughs> oh 
Okay. <clears throat> We've been in queue for an hour and 13 minutes now. We're going to pick this up probably in a separate video. I don't want to just record just nothing. So we'll be back. 